Well, I think if you talk to my daughter, she'd say they were real. Um, obviously, it's a trade secret, so I can't possibly comment. Princess Charlotte is the daughter of Prince William and Kate Middleton. Her full name is Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana, and she's quite an extraordinary young royal. Many people have noticed how much she resembles her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. The resemblance is almost striking. What's special about Charlotte is that, under certain circumstances, she could potentially be the first female heir apparent, meaning she could be next in line for the throne if the rules were to change. Recently, Prince William has shared some thoughts about Charlotte's future. He's expressed concerns and has been thinking carefully about what lies ahead for his daughter. It's been said that Charlotte could face a major curse in the future, which has prompted her mother, Kate, to take steps to prevent it. Royal expert Jenny Bond has talked about this during a recent interview with The Mirror. She discussed some of the worries that Kate reportedly has, especially regarding Charlotte's role as a royal spare. In the interview, Jenny Bond mentioned, William and Kate must be very aware of the challenges that come with being a royal spare. She also pointed out that William and Kate are raising their children in a more modern way, different from previous generations. They are working hard to ensure that Charlotte and her younger brother, Louis, feel just as important, loved, and valued as their older brother, George. Prince William has been thinking ahead about what the future might look like for Charlotte, and it's clear that both he and Kate are determined to guide her through whatever comes her way as she grows up. There's definitely more to come in her story as she finds her place within the royal family. Her future. Princess Charlotte now stands fourth in the line of succession, following her grandfather, King Charles III, her father, Prince William, and her older brother, Prince George. This place is determined by the succession to the Crown Act of 2013, which changed the age-old rule of male preference primogeniture. Before this, the throne would always pass to male heirs, but now, birth order takes priority over gender. This shift toward a fairer system marks a step forward in royal succession, and Charlotte's position holds a unique blend of tradition and progress. Some royal watchers even speculate that Princess Charlotte could one day be given the title of Princess Royal, an honor that belongs to the eldest daughter of the monarch. Right now, that title is held by her great-aunt, Princess Anne. Anne's own story shines a light on how much the system has evolved. As the second child and only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II, Princess Anne was placed behind her younger brothers in the line of succession due to the old male preference rules. Despite her dedication to royal duties and various charitable causes, she now stands 17th in line, highlighting how drastically things have changed with the introduction of gender equality in the royal family's succession rules. The passing of Queen Elizabeth II stirred up more conversations about the current state of royal succession, bringing the importance of the 2013 Act back into focus. This legislation didn't just ensure equal opportunities for women in the royal line, it also addressed other outdated traditions. For instance, those who married Roman Catholics were no longer excluded from the line of succession, and the monarch's religious affiliation no longer had to align strictly with the Church of England. These changes show a royal family adapting to more inclusive and contemporary values. Princess Charlotte's place in this evolving monarchy represents more than just her birthright. It symbolizes a royal family navigating societal change while holding on to certain traditions. As she grows, her role is likely to evolve in interesting ways. Early glimpses of her confidence and grace suggest she will eventually take on more public duties and possibly champion causes that matter to her personally. The thought of Charlotte modernizing and humanizing the royal family while continuing to uphold its legacy is an exciting possibility. Although Prince George is the one slated to take over the British throne, it's interesting to see how his younger sister, Princess Charlotte, could end up with more personal wealth if the royal titles were ever taken away. Neither the kids nor their parents, Kate Middleton and Prince William, are paid for their royal duties directly. Still, experts think that if Charlotte and George's influence could be turned into earnings, Charlotte might end up out-earning her older brother, potentially adding even more wealth to the royal family's already impressive fortune. If these young royals were paid for their public appearances and the sway they have over the public, Charlotte's potential earnings could be enormous, surpassing George's by a good margin. Even though George is next in line for the throne, studies suggest that Charlotte could earn more as a public figure. 
This forecast comes from estimates about their value in the public eye. According to research done by Outdoor Toys, Charlotte's estimated net worth could be close to $5.7 billion, putting her ahead of even the children of global icons like Rihanna and Beyonce. Her brother George's projected net worth is around $3.7 billion, which is still quite significant, but not quite as high as Charlotte's. The reason for this difference largely ties back to what's known as the Kate Middleton effect. Kate Middleton's fashion sense plays a huge role in shaping trends, bringing about $1.3 billion annually to the UK economy. Charlotte is expected to follow in her mom's footsteps, potentially becoming a major style icon herself. If she weren't a royal, her influence in the fashion world could bring her huge earnings. On the other hand, male royals like George don't seem to have the same kind of impact when it comes to fashion trends. So, while George will still live a very privileged life with no real money concerns, Charlotte's future seems to hold much greater sway over fashion and the market, which could make her financially stronger than her brother in the long run. Charlotte's birth the story of Princess Charlotte's arrival in 2015 was a royal event that caught the attention of people all around the world. When Prince William and Kate Middleton, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge shared the news that they were expecting their second child, it created a wave of excitement. It felt like everyone was waiting in anticipation, wondering whether they'd be welcoming a prince or a princess and what name they would choose for their new baby. There was such a buildup that it seemed as though the world was counting down the days until the big moment. From the moment the pregnancy was announced, news about the royal baby spread far and wide. It wasn't just a moment for the family, it felt like a global event. Royal births have always attracted a lot of attention, but this one was extra special. If the baby was a girl, she would be the first princess born into the immediate royal family in over 20 years. This added to the excitement especially since Prince William had been born in 1982, and Prince George, their first child, in 2013. With this second child, everyone was eager to see what the future would hold. As the due date drew near, the excitement grew. People everywhere were making guesses, trying to figure out what the baby's name would be, and reflecting on Kate's previous pregnancy. There was a lot of hope that everything would go smoothly. The media and royal followers were all caught up in the moment, treating it like a worldwide guessing game about what this new baby might mean for the royal family's future. Finally, on the morning of May 2nd, 2015, all eyes were on London. Early in the day, around 5 a.m., the palace staff got the signal that it was time. Kate, with Prince William by her side, headed to St. Mary's Hospital in London at about 6 a.m. A dedicated team was already there, including Dr. Guy Thorpe Beeston and Queen Elizabeth surgeon Alan Farthing, along with an anesthetist, neonatologist, and a skilled team of midwives. As soon as Kate arrived, the Lindo wing of the hospital became a hub of activity, with everyone preparing for the royal birth. Kate probably found comfort in seeing familiar faces, like midwife Jackie Dunkley Bent and her team, who had helped with Prince George's birth. These professionals were ready to support her under the guidance of consultant Dr. Thorpe Beeston. Outside, the excitement was at its peak. Media crews, royal fans, and flag-waving crowds gathered, waiting for any updates. Social media was buzzing with messages of encouragement, and the whole world seemed to be holding its breath. At 8.34 a.m. on May 2, 2015, the world finally heard the news they had been waiting for. Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana had arrived. She weighed eight pounds, three ounces, and the delivery had gone smoothly. The speed of the birth even surprised the medical team. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, delivered Charlotte naturally, without any pain relief like an epidural. It was an all-natural birth, and everything went well. What really amazed people was how quickly Kate bounced back. Less than 10 hours after giving birth, she was already outside the hospital, smiling and waving to the crowd. Prince William was right by her side, proudly greeting the media and onlookers. Baby Charlotte, wrapped in a soft white blanket, was the center of attention, and the moment quickly became iconic. Kate, wearing a bright yellow floral dress, looked radiant on that sunny spring day. It was a beautiful moment for the royal family, and a memory that many people still cherish. Prince William beautifully captured the joy of Princess Charlotte's arrival in an interview with the BBC. 
He described his daughter as a little joy of heaven, showing just how much happiness she brought to their family. Catherine also shared her feelings in an ITV documentary called Our Queen at 90. She spoke about how special it was to have a little girl and how delighted Queen Elizabeth II was when she heard the news. Catherine mentioned that the Queen was actually one of the very first visitors to their home in Kensington after Charlotte was born. Before making any public announcements, William and Catherine had a quiet, private moment with Queen Elizabeth II to share the happy news about their new baby. They celebrated the occasion with their staff and the medical team, toasting the birth of their daughter. It was a heartwarming scene, full of family love and gratitude for everyone who helped. Then, they made the formal announcement to the world. A signed document from one of Catherine's doctors was sent to Buckingham Palace, where it was placed on a golden easel, a beautiful tradition that adds a sense of history to royal births. The celebration of Princess Charlotte's birth was widespread. In London, landmarks were lit up in pink and gun salutes were fired in her honor. On May 4, 2015, her full name was officially revealed as Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. A few months later, on July 5th, she was baptized by Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham. In the days following Charlotte's birth, the world's outpouring of love and excitement was overwhelming. Social media was flooded with congratulatory messages from all corners of the globe. People were overjoyed by the arrival of the newest royal family member. From Buckingham Palace to Times Square, landmarks all over the world glowed in pink to celebrate her birth. Retailers also jumped on the excitement, quickly selling commemorative items like coins, baby clothes, and other royal-themed keepsakes. The buzz surrounding Princess Charlotte was everywhere, and the joy she brought was felt by many. Fans and well-wishers gathered outside Kensington Palace in the days after Charlotte was born, leaving flowers, cards, and gifts. The royal family was deeply touched by this overwhelming show of affection from people all around the world. It showed just how much the British royal family and its traditions are cherished by so many. As Catherine and William settled into life with two children, they worked hard to maintain a sense of normalcy. Despite the grandeur and the attention they received globally, they were committed to giving their children as normal a life as possible. The family was often spotted enjoying moments together, and their happiness was clear to everyone who saw them. Princess Charlotte continued to capture hearts with her sweet personality as she grew older. Her name, carefully chosen, was a beautiful tribute to her family's rich history. Each part of her name, Charlotte, Elizabeth, and Diana, carries deep meaning, reflecting the heritage of the British monarchy and the legacy of her relatives. Her arrival brought a renewed sense of joy to the royal family, reminding everyone of the importance of continuity and the warmth that the family continues to offer. Princess Charlotte. The name Charlotte carries a long and important history in European royalty. It actually comes from the male name Charles, which means free man in German. For centuries, Charlotte has been a popular choice for royal families. One of the most famous connections is to Princess Charlotte of Wales, who was born in 1796. She was the only child of King George IV and was beloved by the British people. Sadly, her life was cut short when she died during childbirth at just 21 years old, a loss that deeply affected the nation. By naming their daughter Charlotte, Prince William and Kate brought back a name with strong historical ties to the British royal family, one that hadn't been widely used for many years. For William and Catherine, the choice of Charlotte also has personal meaning. It's a subtle nod to Prince William's father, Prince Charles. By using a name that honors him, they've given an ancient name with royal roots a modern touch. Since Charlotte is a name that has stood the test of time, the birth of Princess Charlotte has helped ensure its lasting popularity as a timeless classic. Let's take a closer look at the meaning behind each part of Princess Charlotte's full name, which is filled with significance. Starting with Elizabeth, this name is a direct tribute to Princess Charlotte's great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II was a monumental figure in British history, not just because of her long reign, but because of her dedication, strength, and sense of duty. She was the longest reigning queen the UK has ever seen, and her influence has shaped modern Britain in so many ways. By including Elizabeth in Charlotte's name, 
William and Catherine are honoring the Queen's legacy and ensuring that her memory remains an important part of their family's future. The name Elizabeth also has deep biblical and historical roots. It means, God is my oath, and it has been a popular name for many queens and princesses throughout history. The name represents strength, grace, and leadership, qualities that have defined powerful women over the centuries. By giving Charlotte this name, they are connecting her to a long line of remarkable women who have made a real difference in history. Now, let's talk about Diana. This part of Charlotte's name holds deep emotional meaning for both William and the rest of the royal family. It's a tribute to Princess Diana, William's late mother, who was known worldwide for her kindness, compassion, and humanitarian work. Her tragic death in 1997 was felt around the globe, and naming Charlotte after her is a way to keep Diana's memory alive. William has often spoken about the impact his mother had on him, and by including her name, he ensures that his children will grow up knowing the values Diana stood for, love, empathy, and caring for others. The name Diana also symbolizes a promise to carry on her legacy. It serves as a constant reminder of the love and compassion that Diana embodied during her life. When you say Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana, you aren't just saying a name, you're telling a story. It's a way of honoring the women who have shaped the royal family and left lasting legacies, both in the monarchy and beyond. As Princess Charlotte grows older, she will surely learn about the powerful women whose names she carries. Each one has left her own mark on history, and one day, Charlotte may add her own chapter to the rich royal heritage she represents. Her name connects her to a past filled with strong, influential women, and who knows what new paths she'll pave for the future of the British monarchy. Princess Charlotte, who turned nine years old on May 2nd, 2024, has quickly become a favorite not only within the British royal family, but also among people around the world. From the moment she made her first public appearances, it was clear she was special. She wasn't just another royal figure. Her personality stood out right away. Charlotte's confidence and playful energy have often put her in the spotlight, sometimes even outshining her older brother, Prince George, and her parents, William and Catherine, who are now officially titled the Prince and Princess of Wales. Charlotte's bold and spirited personality shines through in all that she does. Whether she's giving photographers a cheeky wave or greeting important guests with the grace of someone much older, she seems completely at ease in the public eye. Many people have even compared her to her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, noting that Charlotte has a similar natural confidence. Those who know her best have described her as feisty and independent, traits that have made her all the more lovable to people everywhere. Despite her young age, Princess Charlotte already has a taste for the finer things in life, which isn't surprising given her royal background. Her wardrobe is filled with carefully selected outfits from designers like Amaya Kids and Peppa and Company, blending tradition with a touch of elegance. Sources have told US Weekly that Charlotte is very bubbly and often the most outgoing of her siblings. Her personality really shines during public events, where her charm and confidence always take center stage. An interesting detail about Princess Charlotte is her love for certain foods that aren't typical for kids her age. For example, she enjoys eating olives, which is a bit unusual for someone so young. Vogue has even pointed out that her taste for olives shows a mature palate. Of course, she also enjoys more common favorites like cheesy pasta and pizza, as Hello! Magazine has shared. Charlotte and her brothers, Prince George and Prince Louis, are often seen helping their parents in the kitchen, which has helped them develop a love for cooking and spending time together as a family. The thought of the whole family making pizza together is definitely a sweet one. Charlotte's interests extend beyond food as well. She's developed a love for ballet, which interestingly mirrors Queen Elizabeth II's childhood passion for dancing. Her parents have encouraged her to explore the arts nurturing her creativity alongside her academic growth. It's lovely to see how supportive she is in developing these interests in such a caring environment. As a modern royal, Charlotte's life is a blend of keeping royal traditions alive while also adapting to a more contemporary way of living. Her early years have been carefully shaped to respect royal customs while also allowing her to enjoy a somewhat normal childhood. 
The special moments in her life, like birthdays and first public appearances, are celebrated not only by her family, but also by royal followers everywhere. Princess Charlotte has already had some memorable moments in the spotlight. Her first time on the Buckingham Palace balcony during the Trooping the Color in June 2016 was especially notable. Even as a toddler in her mother's arms, she waved confidently to the crowd below, showing she was already comfortable with royal duties. Another sweet moment was in May 2017 when she played the role of flower girl at her Aunt Pippa Middleton's wedding, adding yet another charming chapter to her young royal life. Being born into royalty is an extraordinary experience that comes with both immense privilege and significant responsibility. From the very moment a child enters a royal family, their life is drastically different from that of most people. Royal children live in a world steeped in centuries-old traditions, ceremonies, and the public gaze. Everything they do is closely observed, celebrated, and, in some ways, part of a larger national narrative. At the core of being a royal child is a deep connection to history and heritage. They are part of a royal lineage that has shaped nations and witnessed generations of change. This connection gives their lives an extra layer of meaning, as they are expected to uphold the values and responsibilities that come with being part of the monarchy. Their upbringing is steeped in tradition, where every step is designed to prepare them for the roles they will take on later in life. Education for a royal child is not just about academics, but also about preparing for the many duties that await them. They attend prestigious schools, learning the usual subjects like math and science, but also gaining lessons in diplomacy, public service, and the arts. Their education is carefully designed to blend rigorous academic training with life skills and leadership and etiquette, giving them the tools to thrive in their unique roles within the royal family. Public appearances are another important aspect of royal life, even for children. Royal kids are often present at major events, where they must show grace and poise, all while understanding their public role. These events, whether grand state ceremonies or more personal charity engagements, go beyond just creating photo ops. They're a key part of maintaining the royal family's connection to the public. Princess Charlotte's charming personality has already captured a lot of media attention. Her playful nature and moments of pure joy, like her enthusiastic waves and interactions with other children, show her natural ease in front of crowds. People see these moments as signs that Charlotte is likely to play a big role in the future of the British royal family. From the start, Charlotte has had a range of public appearances, both formal and casual. One of her early trips was at just two years old when she joined her parents and brother on a royal tour of Poland and Germany. Despite her young age, she managed to handle the tour with grace. One memorable moment from that trip was when Charlotte said goodbye in Polish, which impressed everyone and hinted at her bright future in diplomacy. A particularly touching moment came during the Christmas Day church service at Sandringham in 2019. Holding her mother's hand, Charlotte confidently walked to the church, stopping along the way to greet well-wishers. One moment stood out when Charlotte, with a bouquet in hand, interacted with a woman in a wheelchair and kindly handed her the flowers. It was a brief but heartwarming glimpse of her kindness and empathy. While being a royal child comes with privileges, it also brings unique challenges. They grow up in the public eye, with limited privacy and constant attention. Balancing their personal growth with the high expectations of royal life requires a careful approach, often supported by a team of advisors and, of course, their close family members. From a young age, royal children are encouraged to find ways to use their status to make a positive difference. This might mean engaging in charitable work, supporting causes, or promoting environmental initiatives. This sense of duty helps them connect with people and contribute to the world in meaningful ways beyond their royal status. One memorable chapter in Charlotte's early years is her role as a flower girl at several high-profile weddings. In May 2018, she took on this role at the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Dressed in a beautiful ivory gown and a delicate flower crown, Charlotte's confident and playful attitude won the hearts of people all around the world. She repeated this role the next year at Princess Eugenie's wedding, once again charming the public with her poise and adorable personality. Watching Princess Charlotte grow up is like witnessing a blend of royal tradition and modern life. With her bubbly personality and captivating presence, she represents a new generation of royals who honor the past while stepping into the future. 
Charlotte has already proven she is more than just a royal figurehead. She is a young girl with her personality and potential, and it's clear that her journey is only just beginning. As Charlotte continues to grow, it will be exciting to see how she carves her path while staying true to the legacies of those who came before her. Every public appearance offers a glimpse into the remarkable young woman she is becoming, a princess who embodies both the weight of royal tradition and the lightness of a bright, modern future. Princess Charlotte Elizabeth. Diana's educational journey and diverse interests highlight her unique role within the British royal family. From her earliest days, the world has watched her grow, eager to witness each milestone, especially as her education sets the stage for her future in the monarchy. Her upbringing began at home, where Prince William and Catherine created a nurturing, stimulating environment that emphasized the importance of early learning. This strong foundation paved the way for Charlotte's formal education. In January 2018, Princess Charlotte took her first steps into the world of formal schooling at Wilcox Nursery School, which is close to Kensington Palace. Despite her royal status, it's suggested that she is referred to as Charlotte Cambridge among her school friends, using her parents' title as a surname. This simple personal touch makes her school life feel more grounded and relatable, blending her royal identity with a more everyday experience. A major milestone came in September 2019 when Charlotte joined her older brother, Prince George, at Thomas's Battersea, a renowned independent day school in London. Known for its emphasis on both academic rigor and character development, the school focuses on values like kindness, confidence, humility, and courtesy, which align closely with the principles of the royal family. Charlotte's education at Thomas's Battersea covered much more than core subjects like math, science, and history. The curriculum also included art, music, drama, and foreign languages. With a strong focus on outdoor activities and sports, the school provided a well-rounded experience that developed her physical and social skills, complementing her academic growth. The next chapter of her education began in the summer of 2022 when the royal family moved to Windsor. This transition meant that Charlotte and her brothers enrolled at Lambrook School. Now in years six, four, and one, they adapted well to their new environment. According to reports, Charlotte quickly became popular among her classmates and was known for her kind, supportive nature, particularly toward younger students. She integrated smoothly into her new community, showing her ability to adapt while maintaining her friendly and compassionate demeanor. Outside the classroom, Charlotte enjoys a variety of activities that reflect her diverse interests. She has a particular fondness for soccer and tennis, sports that not only keep her active, but also teach important lessons about teamwork, discipline, and perseverance, qualities that will be valuable in her future royal responsibilities. One of her most cherished hobbies is horseback riding, a passion that has deep roots in the royal family. Her riding lessons connect her to a royal tradition that spans generations, from her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, to her grandmother, Princess Diana. More than just a fun activity, horseback riding links Charlotte to the royal family's long-standing love for equestrian pursuits, giving her a sense of continuity with her heritage. Charlotte's love for adventure extends to water sports, which became evident during the 2022 Commonwealth Games, where her enthusiasm shone through this interest aligns with her parents' dedication to exposing their children to a wide variety of activities. Prince William and Catherine frequently encourage outdoor adventures, fostering a love for nature in their children. These experiences not only promote physical well-being, but also cultivate an appreciation for the environment, reflecting the conservationist values championed by her grandfather, Prince Charles. Cultural and artistic exposure plays an equally important role in Princess Charlotte's development. Her family frequently attends plays, concerts, and art exhibitions, broadening her understanding of the arts and the world around her. These cultural experiences contribute to Charlotte's well-rounded education, helping her grow into a thoughtful and informed young person who appreciates the beauty and diversity of the world beyond her royal duties. A royal child cannot behave like an ordinary child, Princess Charlotte, who is now nine years old and third in line for the throne, was given an incredibly expensive gift when she was born in 2015. The present was a 36,000 pounds toy, specifically a baby rattle made from 18 CT white gold, 
decorated with diamonds, sapphires, and rubies arranged in a Union Jack pattern. This luxury rattle was a gift from the Natural Sapphire Company, as reported by the Manchester Evening News. Despite the extravagance of the gift, strict royal rules meant that Charlotte was not allowed to keep it. The royal family typically doesn't accept gifts from businesses, and this was no exception. Though it's clear she never got to play with the rattle, the company had hoped to express gratitude to the royal family for the attention they received after Kate Middleton's engagement ring, which once belonged to Princess Diana, became a hit. Although this pricey rattle was returned, Princess Charlotte wasn't left without other cherished keepsakes. One simpler yet heartfelt gift was from her grandfather, King Charles, who gave her a handcrafted willow shaker, a much more modest offering valued at 25 pounds. This reflects the royal tradition of meaningful yet practical gifts, steering clear of the excess that might come with their public roles.